This is maybe where it'll come. Those body shots are starting to take a toll on Gaji, who just ate a right hand. Yeah. Some of Dubé's best shots are as soon as you exit and your chin's up, he'll hit you. That was a big left hook and an uppercut. Gaji firing back, but he goes down. Scheduled for five in the welterweight division. Yes, the championship is on the line. Dumbe in the white gloves, Gaji in the black. Good hard low kick for Gaji to start it. That's a good way to shut down that movement and the angling of Dumbe. Chop away. This is, but this is what the Dumbe, once he creates these angles and gets tricky, you can't see where the shots come from. Oh, Dubé's already throwing big shots. That's what I'm talking about, angles. Dubé whips these overhand shots and these uppercuts that are... Almost a year to get back in the ring. Yeah. I mean, look at these shots. He's throwing him with his glove from the, his ankles. Yeah, and this is where I talk about different types of plyometric, different types of Olympic lifting. So that's really translated well to his power, his knockouts. Nice right hand for Gaji. Like I said, you'll see Gaji kick and then box well. Dubé promised a first round KO and he is going for it, for sure. Oh, Dubé out of it, stay in the pocket like he's doing, grind him in, try to put him in the clinch every so often. Time. Make it a Much to the chagrin of Dubé, who predicted a first round KO. All three judges scoring that one for the champ. You hear now Gaji going to southpaw. You know, when I fought Gaji, he tend to do his better kicking on the southpaw and box better on an orthodox. And kind of seems like that's the, the case still today. Try. When you overforce a knockout, they're harder to come. So now that we see Dubé a little bit more patience, selecting the shots, this is maybe where it'll come. Those body shots are starting to take a toll on Gaji, who just ate a right hand. Yeah. And some of Dubé's best shots are as soon as you exit and your chin's up, he'll hit you. That was a big left hook and an uppercut. Gaji firing back, but he goes down. Is it a knockdown? In round two. Oh, see Gaji a little wobbly on the legs still. He's got to survive five more seconds. Another great round for Cedric Dubé. So Gaji must win the next three rounds unless he scores a knockdown. 10-8 round across the board for Dumbe. When, uh, Gaji coming here to win, not just to survive. He's trying to attack Dumbe. Yeah, Dumbe's counter punching is sharp. He just moves his head and then just follows back with some different angled punches. Very hard to see, very hard to catch. There you go. One punch power down so far for Dumbe with a third be a charm. Downstairs to the body. Yeah, look at those overhand oh, chopping down oh, shots. And that is possibly going to be it for Gaji. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, out. It is over. Cedric Dubé retains his welterweight championship. Cedric Dubé. And the belt represented by Mr. Roby Timmers.